The Minuteman 3 is one of the most powerful land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs ever developed, and it has served as a core component of the United States nuclear deterrent force since the 1970s. This missile system is a symbol of strategic stability and technological sophistication that still holds global relevance today. Originally developed during the Cold War, the Minuteman III was a significant upgrade from its predecessors, the Minuteman I and II. Its design focused on enhanced accuracy, survivability, and improved multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV, capabilities. This means a single missile can carry and launch several nuclear warheads at separate targets across vast distances. Manufactured by Boeing, the Minuteman III was first deployed in 1970 and remains in service due to ongoing upgrades and life extension programs. Although over 1,000 were produced, only around 400 remain in active service today. These missiles are based in underground silos spread across missile wings located in Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming. The missile measures approximately 18.2 meters, about 59.7 feet, in length and weighs around 36,000 kilograms, almost 79,000 pounds. It uses a three-stage solid-fuel rocket propulsion system, enabling it to reach speeds exceeding 15,000 miles per hour. This extreme velocity allows the Minuteman III to strike targets on the other side of the world in under 30 minutes. With a range of more than 13,000 kilometers, approximately 8,000 miles, the Minuteman III can target any location on the globe. It was designed for quick launch capability, even under the pressure of an imminent nuclear strike. The missile can be launched from its silo within minutes of receiving the launch order. Its guidance system is inertial, meaning it does not rely on external signals like GPS, which could be jammed or interfered with. This system has been regularly upgraded over the decades, dramatically increasing the missile's accuracy. Modern upgrades also include improved command and control links and enhanced re-entry vehicle targeting precision. Each Minuteman III missile is capable of carrying up to three re-entry vehicles, each with its own W-78 or W-87 nuclear warhead. The W-78 warhead delivers a yield of approximately 335 kilotons, while the W-87 offers a yield of around 300 kilotons, though it is designed for greater safety and reliability. Both warheads are considered extremely destructive by any measure. Although the START treaties have led to the reduction in the number of deployed warheads, the missile retains the ability to carry multiple warheads if needed. Currently, most Minuteman IIIs carry only one warhead in compliance with the new START treaty with Russia. The U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command is responsible for maintaining and operating the Minuteman III force. The command ensures the missiles are always ready to launch if ordered, maintaining a high level of readiness 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Crews conduct constant training and simulations to prepare for all possible scenarios. Security surrounding these missile sites is extremely strict. Each missile silo is guarded by advanced surveillance systems and heavily armed military security teams. Only highly vetted personnel have access to sensitive launch systems, and multiple layers of authentication are required to initiate a launch. The cost of maintaining the Minuteman III program has steadily increased over the years, particularly due to the aging infrastructure and components. Many of the systems, while still functional, date back to the 1970s and require modernization to ensure safety and effectiveness. In terms of cost, it is estimated that each Minuteman III missile is valued at around $7 million to $10 million for the missile alone. However, the complete operational cost, including silo infrastructure, warhead integration, maintenance, security, and support systems, significantly increases that figure. The overall cost of maintaining the Minuteman III fleet is estimated in the range of $1.5 billion to $2 billion per year. When considering a new Minuteman III missile with all upgrades and launch system costs included, the expected price for a modernized version could reach up to $50 million or more per unit, especially when adjusted for inflation and including integrated warhead deployment and command control systems. Because of its age, the Minuteman III is slated to be replaced in the coming decades by the ground-based strategic deterrent, GBSD, recently renamed the LGM-35A Sentinel. This next-generation ICBM will begin deployment in the early 2030s and is expected to serve until at least 2075. The transition to the Sentinel will be gradual, ensuring no gap in deterrence capabilities. Despite its age, 
the Minuteman 3 continues to be a formidable asset in the U.S. nuclear triad, alongside submarine-launched ballistic missiles and strategic bombers. The triad ensures redundancy and a credible second strike capability, discouraging adversaries from contemplating a first strike. Several modernization programs have helped keep the Minuteman 3 viable. These include upgrades to the propulsion system, new guidance packages, and improved communication systems. These improvements ensure that the missile remains capable of fulfilling its mission well into the 2030s. The missile system also features hardened silos to protect against conventional attacks and electromagnetic pulses EMPs, making them resilient in a variety of conflict scenarios. In addition, its quick launch capability reduces the risk of the missiles being destroyed in a surprise first strike. Regular test launches are conducted to verify the readiness and reliability of the Minuteman 3. These unarmed test launches are carried out from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, typically targeting test sites at Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Each test demonstrates the missile's flight accuracy, reliability, and launch protocols. In recent years, the U.S. has conducted multiple successful Minuteman 3 test launches, showcasing the missile's enduring reliability and the competence of launch crews. These demonstrations serve as both a reassurance to allies and a warning to potential adversaries. The geopolitical importance of the Minuteman 3 cannot be overstated. In a world with rising tensions and emerging nuclear threats, a reliable and modern land-based deterrent remains vital. The missile's presence continues to play a central role in preventing nuclear conflict by maintaining a posture of credible deterrence. All Minuteman 3 operations are conducted under strict military oversight and policy directives that align with U.S. strategic doctrine. Launch decisions require authorization from the President and follow rigorous protocols designed to prevent accidental or unauthorized launches. The command and control network supporting the Minuteman 3 is vast and complex. It includes hardened communication lines, satellite links, and secure command centers such as NORAD and USSTRATCOM. These facilities ensure uninterrupted communication even in the event of an attack. Upgrades to the missile's command system have included cyber defense enhancements, hardened communication pathways, and faster processing systems to adapt to modern threats. These changes are essential to keeping pace with evolving technologies and enemy capabilities. While the missile itself remains a visible symbol of Cold War-era deterrence, its role has adapted to today's strategic environment. It now serves as a stabilizing force in international relations, supporting global arms control efforts while also ensuring national defense. Public awareness of the Minuteman 3 has grown over the years due to documentaries, books, and media coverage of U.S. nuclear policy. Despite this, many details remain classified to protect national security. Still, the missile remains a key topic in debates about arms control, defense spending, and global security. As the Minuteman 3 nears the end of its operational lifespan, its legacy will be remembered as one of durability, effectiveness, and crucial strategic value. Few weapons systems have remained in active service for more than five decades while retaining their mission relevance. Its successor, the LGM 35A Sentinel, will build upon this legacy, incorporating lessons learned from decades of operating the Minuteman 3. The new missile is expected to feature advanced stealth, greater accuracy, and AI-enabled diagnostics for faster maintenance and system updates. In the meantime, the Minuteman 3 will continue to stand guard, ready to respond to any nuclear threat with unprecedented speed and force. It remains a key deterrent against adversaries who may seek to challenge global peace or U.S. national security. Its presence is also vital in reassuring U.S. allies under the nuclear umbrella, maintaining confidence that the United States is committed to mutual defense and international stability. This trust plays a significant role in preventing the proliferation of nuclear weapons among friendly nations. The Minuteman 3 is more than just a missile, it is a symbol of the technological and military might of the United States. Its continued service proves the value of smart engineering, robust maintenance, and strategic foresight. For over 50 years, it has been a silent guardian, a powerful deterrent that has helped prevent the unthinkable. In today's world, where hypersonic weapons and space-based systems are emerging, the Minuteman 3 still holds a place of critical importance. It bridges the past and the future, reminding us of the delicate balance that defines nuclear deterrence. With future generations of ICBMs on the horizon, 
the lessons learned from operating the Minuteman 3 will be invaluable. Its story is one of resilience, adaptation, and strategic continuity in a constantly changing world. And as we look ahead to the future of national defense, one thing is certain, the legacy of the Minuteman 3 will endure, shaping the path of nuclear deterrence for decades to come.